Good morning, Eagles. Today is Monday, November 6th. We have your daily announcements about the Eaton Science UIL team. We also have information on the Winter Guard. This and more up next on Eagle TV. The Fill the Bus campaign has started and will end on November 10th. Here's the informational video about the food drive. Hi, I'm Taylor Pogue and I'm the Vice President of Living Faith today. I'm Kyle Shelton and I'm the Secretary. Uh, my name is Dylan Olson and I'm the Instructor. So as you've heard, we are doing a Fill the Bus. So that means that we are going to be having a competition between all three lunches. We are asking that you bring canned foods that are non-perishable and that you place them in the containers up front during all lunches. Also, this is a two-week event which starts October 30th through November 10th. It is a competition between all three lunches, like I said, and the maximum, the maximum goal for the school is 2400 but each lunch should at least have 500 or more. The lunch, the lunch that has the most wins at the, end of the day, at the end of the competition. And that prize that is given to the winner is free popcorn for all the students during that lunch period. So if you want to win, come out and fill up, the, fill up your box during lunch and try to beat the other lunches. Thanks, guys. Students, you must have an ID to purchase lunch. Please make sure you have an ID before entering the lunch lines in order to make sure we are not disturbing classrooms. We ask that everyone remain seated while you are in the student union hall, the student, the student union until the end of the lunch period. Thank you. Science UIO will start meeting for UIO practice each Wednesday at 8.15 a.m. in Ms. Bear's room A311. We are starting the Race to End Racism campaign this week. Here's a promotional video. TCU will be here tomorrow in the lecture hall during Eagle Time to talk to student athletes. If you are interested in learning about playing sports in college and NCAA eligibility, please join us. You may sign up through Flex Time Manager. There will be a fishing club meeting on Wednesday, November 8th at 6 p.m. If, if you missed the last meeting, this is another chance for you to get involved with a great organization. We will be discussing the formation of our bass fishing team with specific information about upcoming tournaments. If you, wish to fish on the if you wish to fish on the bass tournaments this season with the Eaton Bass Team, you need to attend this meeting. Attention seniors, UNT will be hosting a financial aid work session to assist parents and students with completing their FAFSA. This will be held at Eaton on Thursday, November 9th from 6 to 8 p.m. All students who are planning to attend need to have applied for the FSA ID before the work session begins. The FAFSA is the key to receiving financial assistance with college tuition. All students that are planning to go to college need to complete the FAFSA. If you need assistance with that or questions, please contact your counselor. Students and staff, our annual Veterans Day program is just around the corner. If you have a friend or family member that has served, please invite them to join us on November 10th at 9 a.m. in the PAC. An RSVP is needs to be filled out. These can be found in our newsletter in our hallway by or by contacting Mr. Kelly in room A213. Please get the word out so we can honor all those who have served. Attention Eagles, Eaton Winter Guard will be holding tryouts next week, November 13th, 15th, and 17th after school from 4.30 to 6.30. Hope to see you there. And now for a video from our FCA. What's up guys, uh, who do I have here in the studio today? I'm Brendan Moore, President of FCA. I'm Sydney Childress, Vice President. And uh, could you tell me a little bit more about FCA and like where we meet? FCA is Fellowship of Christian Athletes. We, we meet once a month to uh, talk about Jesus and the fellowship and worship, worship of Christ. We meet once a month on Fridays, and we meet in Miss Holmes' room, C108, and we bring food and we have a great time. 
Also, follow us on Twitter, Eaton Eagles FCA, to stay updated with more information. All right, guys, make sure you go hang out with the guys in FCA Friday mornings. Today, Eaton High School is proud to fly our American flag for Command Master Chief Daniel Howard Sr. Today's hero served in the Army for 23 years. He was also courageous enough to serve in Operations Desert Storm and Desert Shield. The Eaton Eagles are incredibly grateful to Chief Howard and to his son and Eagle Connor Howard for making this nomination. And now for a moment of silence and pledges. Please pause for a moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. That's all we have for you today, Eagles. I'm Dawson Turner. And I'm Brooke Wells, and this has been Eagle TV. Make it a great day, Eagles.